What's going on YouTube? My fellow YouTube and YouTubies, if that's how you say it. Anyway, say it. How you going on, guys? So, I know I haven't posted a video in a long time. I told you guys I was going to be doing it like more frequently and everything, but I got a little distracted with my Xbox. You know, you, you guys know how that is, right? You know, if for most of y'all that do play Xbox or PS4 or any type of video games, you turn it on and you want to get stuff done, but then somebody says, hey, hop on, hop on Fortnite, hop on 2K, Call of Duty, etc. You know how that is. So it's a little distraction. So, I mean, I, I did make time for this video. Today, I actually finished this video a while ago. I'm just doing the intro right now. Um, but, <laughs> sorry about that, y'all. I'm trying to post as much as I can. And uh, it's, 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 a, it's, a, it's not hard. It's just I'm being lazy, you know. <laughs> but, as you can tell, I'm using... I'm not using a new lens. It's not a new lens. I've, I've had this for a while. It's just... I mean, I, it, it's more blurry in the background. Can't you all tell? See? I mean... Uh, but in this video, I am doing a, uh, I'm doing a two on top with a mid, drop fade, mid fade, or whatever you want to call it, it's a mid drop or mid, it doesn't really matter, but I am doing a two with the grand, he had kind of like a, um, he, he was going on like three to a month without getting a haircut, so it looked pretty nice, uh, cutting it down, he wanted it lower, so I, I did that, so I decided, hey, hey, let me make a YouTube video. So we did that, we got it done, and it came out fresh, sharp, and everything. So I hope you guys enjoy this video. Please, please, please wait to the end because I am going to be talking about the giveaway. Um, I kind of have an idea what I want the, the giveaway to be. So if you guys stay tuned and wait to the, last, to the end of the video, then yeah, you guys will know. Stay tuned, y'all. Hey, what's going on, YouTube? So today I'm back with another video. And uh, it's gonna be a good one. I didn't do the turnaround like I usually do. I, I completely forgot about it. But um, I am doing a mid bald fade with a two uh, with the grain. I'm doing it with the grain. So uh, stay tuned, y'all. Let's be fire. So I am doing a two with the grain. Um, for most of y'all that don't know what with the grain is, it's basically going with the hair pattern of where the hair grows. Usually people have calyx on the back right or back left of the head, and you just want to follow where the hair pattern goes. So it's best to do a two with the grain if they're going to try to get waves, so that way it keeps it long and dark, and that way when you brush it, it'll just, you know, lay down better. Um, so just make sure you follow that hair pattern, and uh, there you go. So for my next step, I have my cordless T outliners and I'll be making my bald line. So what I'm doing, I am doing a mid fade. So I am starting at the side temple of uh, the head and I am just making my bald line. I'm setting it in nice and straight because you want to make your guy line straight. Um, it is important to make them straight because um, somebody once told me straight guy lines, straight fade. You want your, you don't want your fade to be all over the place you want to be able to follow your, follow your guidelines and you know so yeah make sure that it is straight
I have my coilless seniors here. I have my lever all the way open, so I'm gonna make my first guideline half an inch. Um, basically what I'm doing is I am flicking out. As you can see, I'm not really making a hard line because I really want to be able to take out that line and you know as the, the steps go on I, so I am just flicking out and I'm but I'm making sure that the the guideline is straight and you know all even sorry y'all I'm a little tired right now it's, it's late at night so so I'll make sure to be a little bit more enthusiastic so I won't bore you guys to death y'all okay So on this next step, I am going to be closing my lever and I'm going to be taking out that, that line right there that I made with my bald, my balder, yeah, my, my, my Andis T outliner. So I am closing my lever all the way and I go halfway, then I go close, halfway close. I play with it a lot. Um, I do say this in all my videos, it, it's kind of getting repetitive for me. So it, as much as I'm saying it to you, you guys should be doing it as well you know what i'm saying so close halfway open you know just want to play with the levers a lot so that way you can have your blend to where you want it to be because everybody has their own style of blending i have mine you have yours so just find yours you don't want to you don't want to be like anybody else you just want to have your own style So on this part right here, as you can see, it's still a little dark. So on where I'm have my pinky finger, I am gonna be doing a one open. I'm making another guideline. I am making another half an inch. Um, but uh, in this part, you really want to you really want to set your guidelines on the shape of the head and also on where you want your blend to be. You know what I'm saying? Because some people have like you know big occipital bones you know you know like the um, the bones in the back of the head that are kind of poking out a lot see uncle kev <laughs> and i was saying by the uh, uncle kev right there but as i was saying some people have occipital bones that are you know bigger than most so you, what you want to do is you want to put the fade on based on their head shape So, around this part, I have my one guard again, but I'm going with the grain. The reason why I'm going with the grain is that I'm just trying to take off some unnecessary bulk on the side. Um, a one with the grain is not necessarily going to make it really light. It's just going to, you know, just take off some dark spots because I am eventually going to blend into, you know, that one. So, um, I'm just, just taking off the little, the little weight, you know, I don't really want to um have it too bulky right there because it makes it easier for me to blend into you know because i don't want it so much hair right there so i do have my zero guard right here also so i am going to i have it open right here just to see what my my guard is going to do and then i go halfway and then close and open and see how fast it i can do it right there you see how fast i just did it y'all can do that too so i am going to do close halfway open i play with it a lot just so I can, and also, also, I'm sorry, I'm sorry, use the corners too. Because if you see a dark spot, use that corner to pick it out. You don't want to use the full blade, just use that corner. So like I said, the method is close halfway open, close halfway open. Say it one more time, close halfway open. So on this one right here, I have my one and a half guard just to take off that that bulk right there, that little dark line. Um, one and a half is gonna lighten up. I don't think it's fully gonna take it away, but it's just gonna lighten up so that way I could come back with a one open and just you know flick that thing out. Um, uh, I don't. All guards aren't gonna cut 
the hair the way you wanted to do it so it's sometimes you got to improvise so what i do is that sometimes i just go with a one and a half see what's gonna do and then just take it out with a one just flick it out you know um so on this step right here i am using a one and a half So on this part, I am lining it up. I'm gonna be using my baby's liners. And oh man, these right here, they it. Um, I'm starting from the middle, like I always say. I start from the middle, then I work my way to my left and then to the right, and then meet up in the middle. Best way to do it is so you will not make one side higher or one side lower than the other. So that way, when you start from the middle, you can just meet it in the middle and it just be all It'll save some time, trust me, it'll save so much time on trying to get each side to match the other and trust me, man. I've tried all different types of lineup techniques and this way is probably the best one. So yeah, start from the middle, work your way from side to side. So on the last part, I am going to be using my airbrush machine to um, enhance his lineup. As you see, it's already crispy, but I just want to make it a little bit more defined touch. And um, yeah, so what you want to do is make sure you make your, your lineup as sharp as you can do it and as straight as you can do it. So that way when you do use a card or anything that, that you want to put, the, put it against the hair for the lineup, it's you know it, it'll be perfect uh, make sure you follow your your lineup and that's that's really all you got to do and I mean kind of you don't want to like if anybody that has it do not spray like oh, like don't hold it down just you always want to just tap 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 as you can see on here I'm just tapping 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 and you know I don't I'm not really like holding it down because you will make it really really dark and you don't want to do that because you don't have to rinse it all out and do so much stuff to get it out and then put another one on and it's just it saves you so much time so just, just tap it you know and really that's all you got to do is just follow that that hairline Yo, 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 what's going on YouTube? Hold on, let me uh, fix this. No, I don't wanna be so far away. I wanna be up and personal with y'all, you know? Yo, 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 much better, much better. Sorry, the lighting isn't so great. I left my light at the shop, but I'm gonna be talking about the giveaway. Uh, 
So the giveaway, basically, I'm probably gonna give away like some liners or maybe some babyless liners or some babyless clippers. I'm not too sure. Like I said, I had an idea, but I'm not. I don't know yet. I mean, it it just depends. What honestly, you know what? I'm gonna do this for y'all. What do you guys want me to give away? Put it down in the section below or in the comment section below and let me know. But I am doing the giveaway at 5,000 followers. So please don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe to my YouTube. And also my Instagram will be at the end of the video. So just uh, wait to the end and it'll show my Instagram at the end. And uh, yeah, so the giveaway again is at 5,000. I'll be there probably like, hopefully if I post consistently, I'll be there probably in a couple weeks. But I mean, <laughs> you already know how I am. I get distracted and everything. But like I said, 5,000 followers. Or subscribers, I mean, 5,000 subscribers on YouTube. Uh, yeah, again, don't forget to put. Oh, and also, 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 don't forget to don't forget to put the post notifications on because that's most important because you guys do get an update and a notification when I do post my next video. So please don't forget to put that on and don't forget to like, comment, subscribe. Thanks, y'all.